came and hollered her this thing running, boy. She is quiet. She is quiet, boys. So I had to jump this thing off this morning. Before we get started working on it, I'm gonna go ahead and just drive it around uh, for a minute, try to let the battery get a slight charge. And once we put it in the shop, I'm gonna just stick the battery back on the um, trickle charger from Top Done and try to save this battery once again. There's definitely something wrong with this car like draining battery wise because the battery was good to go and I let it sit from the last time we tuned it which has been about two weeks, something like that. And the battery was like completely dead again. So there's gotta be something and I don't know if I ever tell y'all this, but a while back, like some months back, um, late at night, man, the, the fucking horn just comes on and stays on. And uh, it's weird because you could come out here and hit the horn button on the steering wheel and it would cut off, but then later on it would come back on. I don't know if it's something in the wheel itself or what, but uh, I just disconnected the horn just so it wouldn't do that anymore. But uh, I don't know if that's got something to do with why the battery's draining or what. But yeah, I'm um, go ahead and dry this thing around a little bit. And then um, you probably already know by the title of the video, but we'll get to uh, unboxing some new stuff for this car. So guys, I get in the car and literally see the dome light is on. So I was like, damn, maybe the door not shut. And when I clicked it once, it's off, which is the door. So yeah um that was our problem
it for this because um, if you if you follow a lot of YouTubers these days, it's no secret that a lot of people are using max speed and rise pullovers. And a lot of times it's because most of us like doing, doing stuff on a budget. But in recent development, they actually came out with a new coilover that's supposed to have a better shock, a lot better um, internals as far as like the valving and, and uh, just how it transfers the fluid so that it's supposed to give you a better ride quality. And uh, a lot of people that I've seen have been getting them for civics, but nobody has gotten them for the Accord yet. So I'm super hyped about this. I feel like now it could be someone else on YouTube that I just haven't discovered or saw yet, but um, as far as Accords go, I think I'm gonna be the first one with these on YouTube. I don't know if any of you guys have bought these before or not, but uh, I've been waiting on these forever, man. They came out with the Civic ones first, so we were just kind of put on the back burner, but we finally have them, guys. Check that logo out. It almost looks like a like an actual car decal. The um, booklet right there. Got some nice black spanner wrenches. Oh my God, bro. What the fuck, bro? So guys, I switched over to my phone camera cause this is fucking sick, bro. Yo, like I did not know they were gonna match the trap. Did not know they were gonna match the trap. So all the other ones I've seen like this have a blue coil, like a nice, like baby blue-ish coil on it. And I thought that was fire as fuck. Like that color combo with this black was sick. And then I opened my box and I got a fucking yellow coil and it's going on the trap. Guys, what, what in the world is going on, man? So this is their new, line of coilovers that they're offering um the price does go up on these but they're said to be a lot better quality so i guess we'll find out as far as ride height and stuff goes now what i am aware of is well i might be good actually i might be good because mine doesn't have the pivoting top hats which seem to be the, the cause of why these don't get nearly as low as the regular max speed and ride so mine doesn't have the um they make a like actual pivotal top hat here like it, it'll move around on the top and i think that made it a little bit too long but for the cgs it doesn't look like they have that on there anymore because it's still the same old flat top hat so hopefully these will still work just as good as the older ones and just maybe I'm hoping that the shock itself is just in a better quality. Um, really like this adjusting like end piece here. That's really nice. Uh, guys, they, they killing it, man. This looks so freaking great. It's like a powder coat type of finish to it, man. That's, that's fucking awesome, man. With the yellow. Jeez, guys. If these things ride any bit better than they look over the older ones, this is definitely the way to go. Again, the, the originals, I don't see them going anywhere, man. You can't buy a set of coils for 250 bucks that do everything they do. I'm talking adjustable dampening, adjustable ride height. Uh, you just not gonna find a set on like anywhere online for that price so i don't see them going anywhere anytime soon but this i believe these are said to compete more with like uh the true heart brands and maybe the entry level um functioning forms like what's on my car now like i believe this this coil over here is made to compete more with those and still be sort of budget friendly because i'm gonna put on like on the screen right now what these cost and of course, I do have a discount code DF Squad at checkout. 
that'll save you some money but I want to say these are a bit more like more than 400 to 500 um, dollar range but uh, they're definitely definitely of some quality and I know a lot of you guys are always talking shit about the original Max Speed and Rocks pullover so maybe you should give these a try I'm gonna stick them on my car I don't mind you know the ride of the original so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna enjoy the ride of these but I will be thoroughly honest price point wise whether or not I feel like it's worth it if it feels so much like the originals then I'll just tell you to stick with the originals so I'm gonna start in the rear guys yeah I'm not gonna do this step by step because I just did it to the daily CG and if you want to watch that video I'll be sure to link it in this video so that you can check out us installing the coilovers but it should definitely be a lot easier this time around just because these are already coilovers so it's a lot shorter than the stock setup and um, it should be easier to get these actually out of here versus the stock stuff. The stock is so long man it's just it's hell getting it over top of all these like you got all these control arms in the back man and it's cool because like this car was a well put together chassis like I can't imagine bro if you get like all of these arms in like a in like a stiffer bushing arm or something like something stronger man I bet this car would be like a track monster for sure but <clears throat> I wouldn't mind doing it myself eventually but right now I'm gonna go ahead and get these old functional forms took off and I'll probably clean them up and end up selling them so if anybody would like them um, they're not bust or anything they just got a lot of a lot of uh, grime on them from just over the, the last couple of years of driving it but they ride pretty good honestly but uh, it's just time for something new so if anybody will be interested in these uh, hit me up 300 you, you pay shipping 300 bucks you pay shipping and um, I'll get those shipped right out to you but yeah let's go ahead and get these rears took out and uh, see what the new ones look like Guys, I promise this is the last time I'm gonna show this. <laughs> but that's so fucking cool. It's just a little bit more, this got a little bit more orange in it than my valve cover. But damn, the fuck, it's crazy like, bruh, 
yellow matching the trap, bro. This is amazing. I love it. So with the fronts, I've already maxed these out as well because I'm trying to balance them out with um, the length of these. Now I could be doing this wrong. It might end up like being a lot lower. I don't know, but um, I went ahead and maxed these out because I'm trying to get it to be the same as what the functioning forms were. So hopefully the ride height will be pretty much the same and we don't have to tweak it that much. But um, yeah, I've already got this side in. Didn't film that, but it's in, it's good to go. And um, I got the other side out. And yeah, I just wanted to stop and admire this one more time before I install it. But guys, that's freaking amazing. Link is always in the description below. Huge shout out to Max Speed and Rides for always supporting your boy and supporting you guys as well. If you're looking for a budget set of coilovers, make sure you use discount code DFSquad at checkout for that savings. But yeah, let's get this thrown in and see what she looks like. Say something for the camera. Hey. Wanna say something for the camera? Hey, hey. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah. He can follow that joke there. Look at him. <laughs> <eyes. laughs> so guys, we got everything tightened down. Um, strut brace is on and it looks pretty good. I wanted to paint it, which was the main reason why I hadn't installed it yet, but then I got to think about it and this engine bay is ugly anyway, so why even bother with it? I do have some more header wrap that I want to wrap these headers with, and eventually I want to paint that strut bar, and I'm probably gonna do this engine bay whenever I had to take the motor back out, which may be I ain't gonna say soon, soon, but maybe pretty soon because I think this clutch is starting to get a little weak, which it's okay because this, this setup has been in this car for at least four years now with me beating on it. So I'm um, pretty sure that the clutch is gonna be on its way out. It's just an AutoZone um, regular stock clutch. And I didn't even get a Prelude clutch. I got the Accord clutch, which if you know, the Prelude and the Core Clutch are the same, except the pressure plate has a little bit more clamping force than the Accord one. So this already is pushing its limits, making almost 170 torque. So um, yeah, definitely uh, doing its job there. But yeah, guys, this thing is on the ground. Everything is tight. And uh, I gotta say, it does not look that bad. Again, we are a little bit higher, but um, I think I can get used to it. I'm gonna uh, try to get this thing fired back up and um, we'll uh, take it around one time and see how she handles. But yeah, guys, this thing definitely should do better. She sits good right now. She sits good right now. Guys, this thing is so quiet, bro. Like, it runs so freaking quiet. I love it. So quiet.
So guys, we are back at the house and that test drive went amazing. This thing rides so much better on these colors. I shit you not, like when I went across the bridge, it felt like I was floating. Like, swear to God, bro. This thing is so much better like this. I do feel like I want to try to get it a little bit lower, but it's not rubbing on anything right now. And I probably should leave it like that. Um, I know a lot of people are going to talk mad spit about my wheel gappage, but um, yeah, this thing is really, really functional right now. And I'm loving it. I'm loving it, guys. So <clears throat> I don't know if I do go lower, it'll probably be like a half an inch at the most just to get the top half of the tire under the fender. But that would be it because the trapper, I, I don't want it to be too, too crazy low, but man, these coilovers are the freaking truth. And it's definitely a noticeable difference between these and the ones that's on the budget built car. Now I want some of these for this car, honestly, but um, these are still a great coilover for the, for the price and uh, what you're getting. You get full adjustability for just over 200 bucks. You can't beat it. Use code D DF squad at checkout to save. But yeah, guys, with these, it's riding like exactly how I wanted this one to ride, which is like factory, man. But man, it has no bounce at all. Like it just, when it hits bumps, it's just like a, like a swoosh to it. And it's, man, it's fucking crazy how different it feels. Like I knew, so I know a lot of people might come in and say, well, the functional forms are a name brand they're probably better. But guys, these being fresh out the box and um, with the new valve adjusting like that they have in it, the new uh, valves inside the chamber of the shock, it's, it's transferring that fluid a lot better, man. This is a smoother, more quality ride. I didn't even really look to see what the spring rate was on them, but um, yeah, guys, this thing is riding really, really good. If you really want to change your mind about max speeding rides, if you feel like you've been done wrong by them, get the upgraded brand. Guys, this is definitely the way to go. Again, I will leave the links to these exact coilovers in the bottom of the description, as well as I'll put on screen exactly what they costed um, in case you just lazy and don't feel like going in the comments. I mean, in the description, I do that too. So um, I will leave it on screen right now for you guys wondering, but this is definitely that way to go if you're looking for a nice ride on a budget. Um, these things ride incredibly smooth, guys, for real. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up here, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. As always, like, share, subscribe, and remember, respect all bills. Peace out.